Hello everybody, so today I'll be teaching you how to make surreal soap, which is making soap with two or more colors depending. This kind of soap always is always beautiful in the eyes, usually sweet and most markets a lot. I'll be going ahead with the production. Why do you before I forget? My name is Ntikak from Edumas Laundry Production and before we proceed to our main training, I just want to make us know that our main purpose of teaching you guys here is to help you own a successful homemade business like us so that in return maybe you choose to buy some chemicals and some making equipment from us as well because we don't just sell our soap and detergents but we also sell soap making chemicals and the equipment like the soap mold, devil cutter, broom remover and soap stamps as well. So if you need some you can just message Johnson Job with the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. Alright so let's get down to the business. First of all, this is the bucket I'll be using for this production. This is my mixing bowl. I am going to add in my warm water. Are you seeing what I am doing? Take note that if you are making soap, you don't use aluminium. You have to use plastic. Here is my calcium carbonate and my sodium sulfate. That is what I am going to use for this production. So I am going to pour it into the warm water. I've already measured it out. I'll leave the measurements at the description. So go to the description and check the measurement because I'll drop it there. So I'll stay the mixture vigorously. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so and turn on the notification button so that you get notified whenever I drop new videos like this. Yes. So I'll continue to stir it and you seeing what i am doing i'll be making this so with pko and palm oil i'll be making use of more palm oil than pko because pko is quite expensive in the market now so making so with only pko you will not be making gain from it so you need to blend your oil while making soap so what i'll be using in this production is 70 30 my pko will be 30 percent well, all will be 70%. So here, I'll be adding my silicate. You know what silicate does to the soap? It makes the soap to shine very well, make the soap strong, and also help the soap to bind very well, to bind the chemicals together. So that is what I just added. The way I make soap is usually very simple. I don't complicate issues in my tutorial. If you have been watching my videos, you will see that I make everything quite easier. And now I'll be adding my foam booster because I am not making use of only PKO. You know PKO has the larging property. So if you are making soap with only PKO, you don't need foam booster because PKO is quite foamy. If you use it to make soap, your soap will be very very foamy. But since I am adding palm oil to the production, I will be needing foam booster. So that is exactly what I did. Now I am adding perfume. I use citrullina as my perfume and I recommend that to my student because it is quite very strong and kind of cheap in the market. So use citrullina. The reason why I add perfume now is because perfume usually separates soap unless you are making hot processed soap. But if it's cold processed, it is advisable for you to add your perfume inside your soda ash solution or calcium solution. But in this production, I didn't add soda ash. I w it was only sodium sulfate and calcium. So I'll keep stirring it to make sure that everything mixed properly after the thorough stir you make sure that everything mixed properly then the next thing you are going to add is caustic soda solution i already prepared my caustic soda solution and keep so what i'll do now is to get it and pour it inside and mix i don't know why it didn't clear very well maybe it's because of the caustic soda but 
have dissolved it for 24 hours but it's not a must that caustic soda should stay for 24 hours you can prepare your caustic soda and still use it the same day but not the same moment the reason i normally soak it because i don't usually like dealing with chemicals always so i always soak in my caustic soda inside big buckets and i'll be scooping it for my production so that's what i normally do i'll drop the receipt on the description i'll drop the links to some of my videos on how to make soup if you want to register for our class or our course if you want to learn how to make soup register for our class now so this is my oil i am adding my oil lastly in this production so are you seeing it i made 70 30 yes at this stage you have to make sure that your mold is ready being in silicone mode plastic mode or a normal kind of mode that we use yes at this point if you want to make four or five colors or even six colors you divide the soap into the number of colors you want to make so i am doing just two colors which is the normal soap color and pink are you seeing it at this moment i'll get it down this is my mode if you want to get a mode cutter if you want to get our mode cutter it is selling it is selling and you chat johnson joe with the whatsapp number on the screen to get yours we deliver nationwide so it is this is my prepared mode i'll pour in parts of my soap butter because i am going to make two color I'll now add pink color to the remaining soap butter and mix very well. I dissolved the pink color but it's quite unfortunate that it didn't dissolve very well. That's why you will see patches of color in the soap. If you want to make three or more colors, you have to divide the soap into different barrels depending on how many colors you prefer to make. It is very easy to do and the soap will come out fine. I will now pour in my pink soap. So because the soap is creamy and light, I didn't put my spatula inside. You can put your, your spatula if you want in order for the soap to touch each other. Just to give you that patchy looks that you want. Yes, but this one is creamy. I know it will reach everywhere. By the way, are you not liking what you're seeing in this channel? If you do, please encourage us by clicking the like button on this video and also comment below to know what you think. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please click on the subscribe button below and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post future content like the one on our Edomas TV by Johnson Joe. Now, are you seeing the outcome of this soup? How beautiful it looks. Sorry, I didn't show you how I didn't show you guys when I was cutting the soup because I owned my camera and I didn't know it was not recording. So that is it. My name is Nsika Kobara. Thanks for watching. See you soon in our next video. Bye.